everyone, Lauren Elizabeth here with Lauren Elizabeth Fine Art and I help beginner through professional level artists reduce stress while mastering animal art. In today's tutorial, while I paint this Volkswagen Owl painting, I'm going to be sharing five tips for how I create my animal portraits in my mixed media sketchbook. A lot of people struggle with this. It can be very challenging, but I have learned some really helpful tips for helping to just do this on a regular basis. It's kind of what I preach. I have just finished an online and learned journal challenge. We did 30 prompts in our mixed media sketchbook. It's kind of my new favorite thing. And so I often fall back on using mixed media paper for when I create these portraits. If you would like to paint this in real time, I have a link down below with the full real time tutorial, the traceable printout, three reference photos and a list of materials if you'd like to paint this yourself. But if you'd like to get these tips, watch all the way through. And at the very end, I'm going to be announcing the winner of my YouTube giveaway. In the last video, I mentioned I'm doing a giveaway. So I'll be announcing that winner just at the end of this tutorial. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get painting. All right, so my first tip is one that I get a lot of questions about, and that's how to blend with mixed media paper. I still blend while I'm using this type of paper, but I do more layering with mixed media paper than I do with canvas. With paper, it seems to seep in so much faster and you're not really supposed to have as much paint, which makes it quicker to dry. So I really recommend you use the layering technique more than you do the blending technique. Blending is very possible with this type of paper, but I recommend you work a little bit faster if you are blending than if you're using canvas. My second tip is that I recommend using more paint than more water. So after you wash your brush out in your water, make sure that you dab it off on a cloth or a paper towel and then pick up a thin amount of paint. Normally we do do this with canvas, but I would be more concerned about making sure that it's not a sopping wet brush before you pick up more paint. And my third tip is to make sure you're using a brand of paint that isn't very liquidy. Like there's golden brand liquid paint. That's a very watery based paint, but the paint that I use is a medium to heavy body paint called Master's Touch, which I've linked down below. This is a more thick, creamy paint. And so when we're trying not to add too much moisture to our paper, I love this paint because it really makes it a lot easier. This is what I used for this painting. And I know I say this a lot, but the only time I use golden brand paint is for my titanium white. Other than that, I usually use my master's touch paint, Chocola, Arteza, or Winsor & Newton. Tip number four is I really recommend using painter's tape to tape it down to a flat surface. So a hard table or something hard that is also not going to absorb moisture. At least tape down the top or bottom or left or right two sides that you can tightly tape it down and make it secure to prevent warping. Preferably all four sides, but for instance here my sketch was so big that I didn't it didn't give me enough space to tape it down. Otherwise I would have all these pencil marks and the card chopped off. So I just did the top and bottom. My fifth tip is to work on other areas while some areas dry. This applies to really any acrylic painting project you're doing, but especially with paper because you don't want pools of water or paint to kind of just sit and just overwork areas with moisture. And so I would say jump around on your painting so that you can let areas dry. And because we like, I recommend the layering technique with this type of medium, I definitely recommend giving it a chance to dry in between layers. And what the heck, I'll just throw in another tip. Tip number six is to work on a flat surface. Now I have seen artists paint with even oils and acrylics just on their easel in their journal, literally straight vertically, but I recommend you work on a flat surface like lay your drafting table down or your kitchen table where you are just working flat. And so it's not an angle so you don't have dripping and you don't have any risk of your paint kind of sliding down your paper. 
Another reason this is good is because especially if it's taped down and you just let it sit to dry, it will dry flat. All right, guys, so those are the tips I have for you. I really love painting with acrylics in my Mixed Media Canon sketchbook, but I have noticed that just getting that balance right between how much water and paint to add makes all the difference. It's not that complicated, actually. It is really fun, and it's why I preach this medium all the time. All right, guys, so I hope you found those six tips helpful. Now I'm going to announce the YouTube giveaway winner who is Shannon Owings. Thank you so much, Shannon, and she requested a Raven tutorial. So not only does she get one month free in my main coon tier of the master class, but coming very soon to my YouTube channel, I'll be doing a Raven painting tutorial. So guys, thank you so much, all of you who participated. I had so many awesome requests, which I actually made note of, and all the ones that you mentioned, so thank you. And I hope to see you next week for another animal painting tutorial for Stress Relief. Bye!